Come in, come in, come in, boys and girls. Come and sit down. Grab a seat, grab a seat. Yes, welcome to today's lesson. Oh, you guys online. Hello, kids on kids. We're having a class today. Uh, I've got my, my little ones who've come to join me. Welcome to you. Welcome, welcome. Um, today's lesson, boys and girls, is going to be about faith. Come in. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, there was traffic. I'm so sorry. Oh, hello, Timber. No, that's fine. Come, grab a seat. There is, we're just about to start our lesson. Just here. Okay. Actually, this is a perfect example. Temba, how did you know that that chair was going to hold you up? How did you know that you weren't going to fall? Oh, um, I don't know. I, I just, I just sat down. I had no reason to think or doubt that it would hold me up. When you just sit on the chair. That's what it was made for. Why did you trust the chair without knowing anything about it? You just, yeah, I just sat down because that's what chairs are made for and that's what I always do. I, I trusted the chair. So, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You trusted that the chair was going to hold you up, didn't you? That's awesome. So that's exactly the lesson that we're going to be doing today, boys and girls. Timber trusted that the chair was going to hold him up. He had faith that the chair was going to hold him up. Didn't he, boys and girls? You know, boys and girls, so often we walk into a place and we don't usually think before we sit, sit right down in the chair, do we? We don't check to see if the chair is stable or strong enough to hold us. We just trust that it can do its job, don't we? Now, God is talking about faith, and faith works the same way. Faith means believing or trusting in something without proof. Just like we have faith the chairs will hold us, God has called us to have faith in Him and in, the, in His Word, the Bible. He asks that we trust Him. Like in Hebrews 11, verse 1, he says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. See, boys and girls, to wrap this all up, trusting God can be hard because we can't see him and often we can't understand what he's doing in our lives. But he has told us to have total faith in him. He has told us that we can trust him, boys and girls, and it's so important because God asks us to do this because he knows that when we trust him, when we have faith in him, our lives will feel less stressful. Our lives will feel less uh, daunting because we know that our worries, and our concerns and anything that is bothering us, we can hand it over in God with faith and trust that God will take care of it. Just like we trust when we sit down in the chair. Like Timber did. You know, when Timber just, he just walked in, sat down, he trusted that that chair was going to hold him up. And we also need to trust that God is going to do his job. And that is to be loving, and that is to look after us and guide us and love us and show us his way through his word, the Bible. Isn't that fantastic, boys and girls, that we can trust God and that actually God wants us to trust him because he is saying he will not let us down. And if we can trust the chair, then we can surely trust God. Okay, boys and girls, let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, that we can trust you. Thank you, Lord, that we can turn to you and give you all of our concerns and our worries. Thank you, Lord, that we can have an illustration of a chair and that every time these boys and girls look at a chair, Lord, they can be reminded that they can trust you 
just as much as they trust their chair, if not more, Lord God, that they can trust you because you want us to trust you. And if they can trust the chair, then they can trust you, Lord God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and we will see you again soon. Bye.